I live in Suffolk, I'm 16 and in the first year of my A-level music course. I'm going to talk about Britain's only full-length ballet school, The Prince of the Pagodas. It's a fairy tale complete with a wicked sister, magic spells and a handsome prince, set in a mythical eastern world called Pagodaland and it has echoes of King Lear and Beauty and the Beast. I find this music fascinating because Britain mixes Western and Eastern music to produce a score that's incredibly rich, varied and multi-textured and it marks a pivotal moment in Britain's career where his ears were opened to world music. Britain was commissioned by Sadler's Wells in 1954 to write the music for a ballet to be choreographed by John Cranko but working without his usual text he struggled for two years with the composition. In fact, it took him longer to write The Prince of the Pagodas than any other piece. The breakthrough came when he and Peter Piers spent two weeks in Bali in 1956 and he was captivated by gamelan music. It's the traditional ensemble of Java and Bali and it's predominantly percussive. Metallophones hit with hammers, drums, xylophones and gongs, but it also uses flutes and strings. Britain immediately began to incorporate Gamelan into The Prince of the Pagodas and it's particularly striking in Act 2 where he uses lots of different Western percussion instruments such as gongs, cymbals, bells, xylophones and even a piano to produce a Gamelan-like sound. For me, this brilliantly conjures up the magical land of pagodas. Britain's vivid musical motifs. I particularly like the Prince's romantic theme with lyrical strings. He uses an evocative saxophone melody backed by bassoon early in Act 3 to depict the old emperor. Western orchestral music, with echoes of the Russian ballet scores, takes over at the end of the ballet when Rose kisses the salamander and he turns back into the human prince of Pagoda land. The Prince of the Pagodas marked the moment when non-Western musical cultures became an essential part of Britain's compositional style. Gamelan pay- played a potent role in Death in Venice and Japanese no drama and court music inspired the church parables of the 1960s. The Prince of the Pagodas isn't staged as a ballet very often, but I'd love to see it, and I wish I'd seen Darts to Bustle, Dancing Rose, in Kenneth Macmillan's 1989 revival. But the music is so vivid and mesmerising, listening to it, you can easily imagine you're in the theatre, watching the dancers bring the magical fairy tale to life. <laughs>